Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and don't know already, my name is Kara. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. And today we are going to be doing a book tag. I have been on the lookout for some newer kind of book tags. Um, I really enjoy doing book tags. I feel like they're a great way to discover new books from other people's recommendations and a good way to kind of get you in a reading mode. So today I found the Rapid Fire book tag from Yasmin the Reader. I will leave her channel down below. I wasn't tagged to do this, but I saw it and thought it's a good tag. So if you want to do this tag, the questions are in the description below. So I've got the questions here on my phone. I just took a screenshot of the questions. There are quite a few and like just rapid fire, but if there's ones that I feel like we have a discussion about, we'll have a chat. So question one, ebook or physical book? I really don't like ebooks at all, so physical book without a doubt. I have been sent some ebooks and I hate looking at a screen to read. I don't think I'll ever buy a Kindle or a reading device like that. I like that when I read, I'm away from screens and technology. I'm having something physical in my hand to hold, like the smell of a new book. You can't beat the smell of a new book, and I don't think I'll ever be an ebook reader. I just, it doesn't feel like I'm reading to me. It's definitely a physical book. Paperback or hardback? Without a doubt, paperback. I feel like a lot of people like hardbacks because they look a lot more expensive, but I hate how a hardback feels. It feels too rigid in my hands. I don't like how heavy they are. And in Australia, hardbacks are so expensive. Majority of books also don't get released in hardbacks. They get released in paperback. And if you find a book that's released in hardback, it's gonna be like $20 more than the original paperback. So definitely paperback. Online or in-store book shopping? I've kind of got to say 50-50. There are some places where I know I can get a really good deal for books, especially Target, Big W and Kmart are really great for buying books in Australia. I do sometimes buy books from QBD and Dimmix, but sometimes I find that books are a lot more expensive there and then I can find it cheaper online or at my local Target or whatever. But definitely some books I know if I want them, as soon as they release, I'll buy them online. I haven't bought books online for quite a long time. I have been buying them in store, but 50-50 for that one. Trilogies or series? I quite like series. I feel like with trilogies, sometimes you just don't get enough information, whereas a series you can get a whole big story, like spread out, get more of the characters, and you get to know the characters more, but definitely a series. Heroes or villains? Ooh. Heroes, but Maven from Red Queen is my number one villain. A book you want everyone to read that I read this year that really made an impact on me is How It Feels to Float by Helena Fox. It is a story all about a girl who her father has passed away and going through the changes in her life and still feeling that presence of her father and the grief and everything that she feels. It really connected with me, with my personal story of losing my dad and I think it's such a great book to have a discussion of grief because grief is not something that just goes away. It is something that every single day you have to learn to deal with and carry with you. And it's just, it was such a great topic book. So definitely if you haven't checked out How It Feels to Float, make sure you add it to your TBR. Recommend an underrated book. Ooh. And this is one that I bought quite a while ago and I've never seen anyone talk about it. It's called Life in a Fishbowl by Len Ballos. It's about a girl who her dad is dealing with a brain tumor and they get selected to make a reality show about the journey and it is such a great book and I haven't really seen much about it online or really anywhere. The last book you finished, the last book I finished was Aurora Rising by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to the next book in the series. I'm so glad it's a series because I absolutely loved it all the characters and I can't wait to see more of the story. The last book you bought, the last book I bought was Aurora Rising and I'm glad I've read it now. Weirdest thing you've used as a bookmark? Uh, I know receipts and that is not weird. I don't really think I've put anything weird, maybe a pen or something, that's not weird though, but just the normal everyday things, to be honest. <laughs> used books, yes or no? Yes, definitely, I think there is such a stigma around used things but if you can find a book that is in amazing quality and is used from say a local bookstore um my bookstores don't have used sections um they might have and my local op shops do have a lot of books but the ones you always see at op shops but definitely buy used books from op shops or thrift stores top three favorite genres fantasy contemporary and romance all by a Love me some more, eh? Borrow or buy? A bit of both. I like to borrow books, but then I feel a real time constraint to finish a book in the time that I have. 
And when I finish it, I get stressed out because then I know there might be someone else waiting to borrow that book. So definitely borrow. If it's a book I want to borrow, but I didn't think I would want to waste my money on it, I'd borrow it, but probably more buy. Characters or plot? Plot. I like knowing what the story is about. Characters kind of just fit in, but if the story hasn't, if the book hasn't got a plot, then the characters aren't really going to make the story at all. Long or short books? Can I choose medium? I like a book that's around like 350 to 400 pages. When I get to like a, a 500 book, I'm like, oh, it's going to take me a while. Then like a short book that's like 250, I'm like, oh, I'm going to breeze through this. So I like a middle range, like 350 to 400 books. Long or short chapters? I like a short chapter. I'm the kind of person who's like, okay, I'll read three more chapters before I go to bed, and then the chapter's like, 30 pages long and I'm like, are you serious? So I like a book that's maybe like 10 pages for a chapter, but yes. Seriously, enough of these long chapter books. And the first three books you think of. I have, there are three books right in front of me that are on the floor I took off my desk so I didn't look messy. And they are When the Ground is Hard, Imposters and Arctic Zoo. The ones I was gifted from Alan and Unwin. So thanks guys. But three books right there. Books that made you laugh or cry. Oh. A book that made me bawl my eyes out was called Before I Go. It is a story about a girl who has cancer and she wants to find her husband and new wife before she dies and it literally tore my heartstrings out. Like literally, I was sitting there bawling and I needed a hug after. That was, that was an emotional ride. Our world or fictional worlds? I really like fictional worlds but there was something about a story being set in a place that you know. I really loved Whisper by Lynette Noni because it was based in Sydney and there was Australian words mixed in and I could really relate to the characters. But I like a mystery world because then I can like fantasize about what it looks like and all that stuff. Whereas if it's in a real world, I just got like pitch dream in my head. You know what I mean? Audiobooks, yes or no? No, no, no. I can't do audiobooks. I've tried. I get bored. I get bored. Ever judge a book by its cover? Yes, and you're lying if you say you don't. Book to movie or book to TV adaptions? Book to movie by far. So many of my favorite books have been made into movies. Some of them have been good. Some of them have been quite bad. But I love movies. I don't really think I've read many book to TV adaptions. The Vampire Diaries, I've read those stories, but I read them after the show was created. Um, I have read one or two of the Gossip Girl books. And there is something else but I can't think, but definitely book to movie. Movie or TV show you preferred to its book? Oh, without a doubt. This one is gonna be a controversial thing, but I prefer the Harry Potter movies only because I've only read the first book in the series. But I love the Harry Potter movies. It is my goal to at least read the first two books in the Harry Potter series. I have them all, my, my boyfriend owns them all. So I've got no excuse. So I'm gonna say Harry Potter. Series or standalones? I love series, but sometimes a standalone is just so great, but then you're like, I want to know more. I want to know more of these characters. That was like Four Dead Queens by Ashwood Schultz. I just wanted to know what happened next, but it's a standalone, so. So if you guys enjoyed this tag, let me know in the comments down below. As I said, I will leave all the questions in the description. This is a really fun tag. I like getting all my bookish like opinions out into the world. Don't know what my arms are doing, that's fine. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys haven't already, please hit the big red subscribe button. I am trying to hit 1,000 by the end of the year. We are on 871, I believe, at the moment, but I would really love to hit it before the end of the year, as I said. We are going to America next month, and I'm really excited to get all that. I think it's gonna be some really great video footage and vlogs from that, so I'm really excited for that. But if you haven't subscribed and you like my stuff, please consider subscribing and I will see you all with another video next week. Bye.